scam you. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a catchy song. It's your home of phone scams. Mojo in the morning. Urgent care speaking. How can I help you? Hi, this is not an emergency. I just had a question about oh. my allergies and the EpiPen. Oh, uh, let me get you over to a nurse. Thank you. Hi, this is one of the nurses. How can I help you? Hi, one of the nurses. This is Jake Finn, and yeah. I'm calling. Ab- it's not an emergency. I'm calling about my allergies and the EpiPen. Okay. I have questions. Okay, sure. What's up? Well, I think I'm allergic to the blasted contraption. Really? I mean, wh- I'm talking to you, and I can breathe fine, and I can still whistle. <laughs> but I just wanted to pierce my ears, and I figured, you know, the thing was sterile. Yeah. And it would, you know, shoot out fast, like pew. Uh-huh. You know, the the little needle thing just pops out really fast, like pew. Yeah, so... But son of a biscuit, if my ear didn't swell up the size of a baby snow monkey. Are you telling me that you used an EpiPen to pierce your ear? I did. And did it have any epinephrine in it? Oh, well, I don't know what's in it. It's uh, whatever the juicy stuff is. Oh, my goodness, young Yes, man. and now it's throbbing and aching ever since I tried to pierce it, and I'm realizing I'm, I'm, I think I'm allergic to the EpiPen. No, you're not allergic to it. You introduced epinephrine into a, a very vascular area. Um, oh, my. That's a lot of big words, Princess. What does that mean? And that means you should go to be the emergency room and make sure that you're not going oh, to lose dear. your earlobe, young fella. Oh, dear. Yes. Y- you're kidding me. I am not. What is I the epipheral de- means? I'm sorry? What is it called? What, you, what you've done is you introduced epinephrine into a very vascular area. Right. And you need to worry about, like, compartment syndrome or things like that. Oh. And, yes, please, 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 where's the closest ER for you? It's, uh, well, just about six or seven blocks away. Well, then you need to just get your little self there right now. Okay, I will do that. Could it also be, because I have a lot of allergies, could it no. be the pork chop? No. Because when my ear started swelling up, I put a frozen pork chop on it. No, it's from the epinephrine in the pen that you've introduced into that area. Next time you want to get your ears pierced, go to the piercing pagoda. Oh, goodness. What did I do to myself? Uh, I don't know. You're going to find out, though. So should I go before I do the other ear? Oh, my God. Don't do the other ear. No, 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 no. no, oh, okay, no. okay. 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 Go, go to the ER, okay? Okay, I'll go to the ER and All have right. them do it. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure they will, but... <laughs> Kim, thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Good, and and good just luck. one more thing. I yes. just want to let you know you're on the radio. Nuh-uh. Oh, yeah. You just <laughs> been the victim of a phone scam. <laughs> <laughs> I love my coworkers. Isn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you have to go back to work and deal with real emergencies. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will scam you. <laughs> you're home with the phone scams. This is Mojo in the Morning.